honestly, if he does play the way that we truly expect him to play, which is kind of middle of the road, maybe better, have some some moments where he does really good, but also have some interceptions, have a guy and and play and replace him if necessary, or even just talk to him on the sideline to say, calm down. This is what you this is what you didn't see. You know what I mean? And that I, I really like that because of as I like that as opposed to having your boy in here, Taylor Heineke, where yes, he would have helped Sam, but at the same time, Taylor still has that mindset of I want to start. I want to be the guy. I want to go to a place where I could, you know, take a team and help them and everything like that. And it just, they're both kind of on that ascension with him and Sam Howe that it just wouldn't kind of be fair. And like you said, the fans first, the minute that, um, the minute that Sam starts struggling, the fans are sitting here, you know, high in a key, high in a key. You know what I mean? Nobody's, and you you mentioned this a week ago, nobody's screaming brassette, brassette, brassette. You know what I mean? Unless Sam is really, really doing bad. So I love, I love Jacoby Brissett being in here. And I love that he's kind of, it's an under the radar. I mean, mm-hmm. we like him. He's good. But nobody, if you're looking at, okay, this quarterback, this team that, He's not, he's not on any of your starting roster. He's not your starting guy. However, you don't, you're not as worried if he is back there and if he does have to come in. So I love this. I love this, what it does to Sam and it gives him the opportunity to now, okay, let's go. Let's move in the right direction. And there's kind of an unspoken, you know, this is Sam's job and you're backing him up, but still, Iron sharpens iron. So there's still a little competition in house. And I mean, it would say, it would say far more if Jacoby Brissett won the job than anything else going into the new season. But at the same time, I would rather Jacoby Brissett win the job than having a Carson Wentz from the past where you're just like, or even a Taylor Heineke where you're just like, okay, the team's behind him, but. I mean, sit on the edge of my seat, wait for that interception and wait for something to happen. So I love, I love Jacoby Brissett being here. I've been somebody that's been interested in him for years, but you never, you never want to openly be like, yeah, I want Jacoby because I don't want him as a starter. I just want him as a backup. I just like the guy. You know what I mean? It's like a Teddy Bridgewater, but Jacoby can contribute more in my opinion. So well, and from from what we've read about him or heard about him, that people are only going to like him even more when you get a chance to hear from him yeah. um, and, and, you know, listen to some interviews because he is a, you know, a pretty, um, you know, outstanding person. So that's going to help. I think it shows how much they liked him too, was the fact that Heineke was prepared to sign a two year, $10 million a year contract here, 5 million a year. He ended up getting a little bit more from, from the Falcons. We paid Brissett even more than that. Yeah. So I think that shows to like you're saying is they also see some more in him as a, as a quarterback than what they saw in Heineke's ability to say, this right. guy can hold down the fort. He can help our young quarterback and he can take over if we need to. So, yeah, no, I think, I mean, we, while we shouldn't be like super excited about our quarterback yeah. situation, you know, we still got a fifth round draft pick and a, and a journeyman as, as our two options. But Brissett is, like you said, is, is a pretty darn good backup to have. It's 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 like a it's like a calm. It's like yes, tranquil. It's not you're not going to sit here and get excited, but you're not going to sit here and be like oh, not Brissett. You know, it's yes. you can trust. You can be like okay, we got Brissett. Okay, we should be good. And you're not going to chew on tums the entire game like I do with Heineke at quarterback. Right. <laughs> exactly. 